Welcome to segment number five of our V2 build series. In this segment, we'll be adding the simulated fasteners between the fuel section and the aft motor section of the V2 airframe. If you look carefully here at this assembled model, you'll see these simulated fasteners here at 24 points on this join line. We'll be creating that out of this half round styrene material. It's very simple to do. We may make a couple of mistakes, it's no big deal, but we're gonna cut small pieces of that off and place them at these 24 points on the join line. You'll find the half round styrene material we'll be using for this step taped under the top of the box that your V2 kit came in. Also in the box is this marking guide. We're going to cut out this section up here and wrap it around the airframe tube to indicate exactly where each of the 24 fasteners need to go. Let's begin. We have our alignment guide cut out and we're ready to position it on the airframe. We're going to wrap it around the airframe just below the airframe join line and above the fins. We will align the two positioning arrows and then use a small piece of scotch tape to bring those together. The next thing we'll do is rotate the guide so that the long lines are in line with the tops of each of the four fins. And we'll set that just below the join line. I'm going to have another piece of scotch tape and I'm going to lock the guide into place. We're now ready to move on to the next step. In the spirit of full disclosure, I'll let everyone know that I'm using my magnification right now. I'm going to cut a small sliver off the end of the stock material, roughly a millimeter long. I'll place my finger over it so it doesn't skitter away. I now have a small piece of half round stock and I'm going to see if it fits into the joint. It does not. It is just a little too big. So I'm going to cut another piece, a little bit shorter this time. Note how you can stab the, the cut material very easily with your X-Acto blade. That fits well. I'm going to use the knife to hold it in place in line with one of the positioning marks. And I'm going to use some Tamiya Thin Cement and just touch the part with the cement on either side. Capillary action will draw the cement into the joint. I'm then going to take my tweezers and gently hold the part in place while I tease the knife out. And there, we've got our first of 24 fasteners in place. I'm going to repeat that 23 more times. Okay, we now have six of the fasteners in place. That took roughly five minutes. Now, admittedly, I've built a few of these in the past and I'm pretty quick at it. But the point here is that you can learn the technique very quickly and there's plenty of material available to make mistakes along the way. I'm going to take a few more moments and complete the other 18 fasteners. After that, we'll move on to the next segment in our build.